Hello, happy Friday for all of my Southern Hemisphere people and happy Thanksgiving to all my American friends out there. Quick one this Friday, usually my videos go forever so this one is not going to kill you with boredom. Uh, what I wanted to show you was <clears throat> a couple of really cool things to do with funnels. So what we're going to cover off is a two-step checkout and then a one-click upsell um, not a lot of people actually know how to do this so let's dive in and, and figure it out right so let's say we're doing a new funnel um, let's say I am selling some SaaS what I want to do is I want to build a funnel where I'm gonna be selling a recurring subscription product at the initial checkout which is a two-step and then I'm gonna do a button once they've already purchased that my payment method is valid and before they leave that process and before I say thanks you know whatever whatever um, I can have a button which is basically gonna automatically transact for that one click purchase this is good for setup fees things that you want to throw in and given that it's Black Friday here in Australia today tomorrow in the US you know this is the type of thing that you could uh, be doing uh, right around sale time so let's uh, dive in so we're gonna have a, a blank funnel I'm um, not going to use a template for this, right? So we're going to go, this is my um, Black Friday, right? SaaS, and the path is just going to be order form, and we're not going to do anything else. I'm going to create it from a blank slate. So let's do that. And we're going to do a speed funnel here. So let's start with all the correct HTML elements. So we're going to put in a few sections. Uh, on top of those sections, we're going to put in a few elements, right? So we're going to have a one column here. We're going to have a two column here. We're going to have a uh, three column, two. Let's make sure we're actually clicking them on. We're going to have a headline. We're going to have a bulleted list, we're going to have an image, then we're going to have a video down here. We're going to have an image, and why is it not clicking when I'm clicking? Right, and then in, right in the middle here, we're going to have call to action buttons, which is really important. That's going to be a single column. That is going to look like this, and then of course, directly beneath the fold, we're going to have a why isn't it clicking button button here's some stuff right so basic outline um you know update metadata whatever <clears throat> basic outline couple of sections header hero fold call to action info call to action additional info social proof and then of course you probably have Beneath this, we're going to do a two-step checkout. So this is a two-step order form. That is going to look like that. And of course, before I can actually add the required products, once I've got the outline, we're going to go back to the funnel and we're going to do some configuration. And of course, you would do domain mapping and various other bits and pieces, load balancing across A and B splits. Um, of course, you would do all that, right? So give it the correct uh, parameters and so on. Give it the correct settings. Now from here, we want to uh, put a test payment mode on. And then we want to go to our steps, products, and we want to add on step one, the SAS plans that I've got available right now. Now, the list is currently empty. And that is because this is not a SAS account. This is my sub account. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a brand new product. And what I'm going to do is I am going to just find that in Stripe by its ID. Okay, uh, created two products really quickly. So I've got a digital product, which is a recurring product. 
Uh, that is my subscription product. So that is a monthly recurring script subscription product. And then I've got a coaching, just a one-time service. Okay, I could of course imported those from Stripe. Uh, I have the same Stripe connected that I do for my SAS configurator. And you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I could have brought in there. But for the sake of this demo, I just went and created a recurring and a one-time. So back to our funnel. Let's jump back to the funnel. We're gonna look at the SAS funnel. We're gonna to go to products. We're gonna add that product. And we're gonna chuck in premium. We're gonna check the premium monthly. And we're not gonna do anything else. Now, some uh, of you might not know that you can actually do an authorization against the card. Um, Stripe will do whatever it defaults to. Um, so, uh, it actually is literally written uh, beneath authorization will run for the first installment amount. <clears throat> the whole will be released immediately. So you could actually authorize for a million dollars um, and only charge them four ninety nine if that's what you're inclined to do. Um, you know, there's plenty of use cases where you would require that trial periods, onboarding, activation. You want to make sure that the funds are going to clear when you actually have, um, when you actually go to, to charge them. Right, uh, I'm not going to allow multiple in, uh, quantities of this product to be purchased because it is a plan, so you can't buy two plans. And we're not going to bump, so we're going to click save. Great, the product has been added. I can see the amount, the fact that it's recurring right there. So let's go back to the edit page and so now when you see the preview of this funnel you'll notice that we just launch straight into the preview and of course you could spend uh, an hour or two uh, fixing it up so that it actually was decent but here we go right so uh, I've got it in test mode and what happens is the sale actions says go to the next step. So right now, there is no next step, right? So if I was to fill this out and click go to step two, it would take me to step two over here, but there is no next step because if we look at the funnel configuration itself, it is still only one single step. So what we wanna do is of course add a new step, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say add to your order right and add these to now this is before cart mode came in there will be an extra video that I'm going to release on cart mode once I figure out the ins and outs of the functionality and whether or not it's fully released or if they're still sort of drip feeding um, bits and bobs in there we actually want to do another step and that's going to be thank you confirmation and I'm gonna go thank you confirmation here and this is because I've done this before and I know that you're gonna need the following step right so I'm gonna go use existing did you know you could convert a website into a funnel handy right don't have any websites here I'm gonna clone the existing step and I'm not going to clone on the following step, but uh, here we go. This step is where we're going to be taken once we've purchased our $4.99 plan. Then what we want to do is we want to edit that step. Great. <clears throat> so the, the headline is going to be, you know, um, Thanks for subscribing, right? And then underneath that's gonna be something like this. Right, and that's gonna be a list of great deals, right? Now what you can do here is any button can have the action and I'm gonna get rid of that, and we're gonna, you know, here's some stuff, right? So this could be one-time coaching and activation for 
50% off for Black Friday. Okay, and then the button is not just going to be click to sign up. It's going to get um, add this deal to my add this deal now, right? Let's get me set up and save. Okay, we've got a little call to action. Now the button action needs to be linked to the product. So again, if that product is not there, and I'll show you what this looks like, the button actions can be a one click up and down sell. The product needs to be in that step, right? So <clears throat> hopefully that makes sense. I show you that because you probably do it um, multiple times before you actually figure out that you need to do that step. So we're on the second step. We come back to the product. We're gonna add the one-time product, which is the coaching. We're gonna choose the price. We're not gonna do anything else. We're gonna take all the defaults and great. We're just gonna quickly modify this page. So when we run our preview, we don't have to come back and do all of this again. So let's just create from blank. And now what I want to do is I want to do an order confirmation. Thank you. That's my conversion. So we're going to do um, order confirmation, right? Apologies for the keyboard noise. I know it's terrible. And then we need an order confirmation. Stick that in right there. Okay. And then you could say something like your invoice is going to be sent to you, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That's all you need to do here. Let's get beyond this and let's save. We're going to go back to step two, change the button action. Step one preview and we're done, right? So add, let's click edit. Great, we've got this, add this deal now, blah, blah, blah. You could get rid of, you know, whatever. Um, obviously this is just a demo. You don't need this at all. This is in the second step. You don't need any of this. So we can delete the entire section, right? Let's save, change the button. So the button is going to have an action of one click upsell down. The product is going to be the coaching. And then once we've actually clicked the button and we've added it to the cart and they've bought it, go to the next step, which is confirmation. Cool. So now, once it's finally saved, we can run this in test mode and test it out. Okay, so just checking that it is in test mode. It's currently live. We want it to be test, right? So let's save it. And then we're gonna go bang, preview. See what it looks like, right? Blah, 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 right? So we're gonna put in John Wick from there. He's from wherever. And what's it complaining about? Oh yeah, it's an email address. So, step two, it tells me that it's test mode. It's by default bumping what I'm, because I've only got one, doesn't need a bump. Premium, 499, yeah, cool, let's do that. Demo card info looks like this. Complete. So card authorization happening at 499, it will release once the payment's made. That's the default action that Stripe is doing. 
Once we're satisfied that the purchase is made, we go to the next step. And this is when we're getting our upsell. Let's add that deal right now. And one click, I've already, that is added to the shopping cart. It is authorized. Boom, my order confirmation tells me that I bought premium monthly and my coaching one time. There's my total. And then of course my invoice would be sent via email or whatever. Right, that is it. Get your e-commerce on this Black Friday. And uh, if you've got any questions, put a comment below. As always, guess the number between one and 100. Put that in the comments below. Let's do a coaching session. I'm gonna write it down uh, very shortly. And then I'll come back in a week or so and pick the closest person. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Black Friday. Hope this video helps someone. See you soon.